Hey guys, it's Nick, and it's preview time for your Chicago Blackhawks. Facing off against the Carolina Hurricanes in this week's two-game setup in the Madhouse on Madison. The Hawks are on a rough patch. They lost two in a row to the Nashville Predators, dropping them out of a playoff spot. The Hurricanes are one of the better teams in the Central Division. The Hurricanes are coming into this two-game setup with a record of 23-7-3, where the Hawks are coming in with a record of 16-15-5. Right there, that's showing the rough patches of the Chicago Blackhawks right now. In the month of March alone, the Hawks have shown they've had a horrible month. They've only won four out of four out of thirteen of the games they've played, the Hawks won. Right there, that's not that good if you look at it. If they're trying to make the playoffs, they need to play well. And well Winning four out of thir four out of thirteen in a month of March, not so good. The Hawks are getting to the final stretch. If they want to make the playoffs, they need to play strong and get their game back up and running. If they can win tonight's game against Nash uh, against Colorado, not Colorado. Why did I say Colorado? Carolina. They could probably gain momentum because the Hurricanes are one of the better teams in the league, a, a Stanley Cup contender. Take it and build off it if they win tonight. The Hawks need to watch out for players getting into the slot and playing them to the boards. And they need to keep winning at the dot. If they do that, they have a chance. Stay out of the box because the Hurricanes are good when it comes to moving the puck around, getting the opportunities on net. Kevin Lincoln is expected to be in net for the Blackhawks to, for game one of the series, so I expect him probably also in game two of this series. Tonight's game's at 6 30 in the Chicago, which is an early start for a game in the United Center on a weekday. I know this when they said 6:30, that just doesn't seem normal. Um, so the Hawks really need to find their game and get it back up and running because if they want to make the playoffs, they have to play strong and get it back and going. Players to watch out for. Sebastian Ajo for the Hurricanes, who's played 33 games this season, has 15 goals, 18 assists for 33 points on the year. And for the um, their blue line, watch out for Dougie Hamilton, who's also played 33 games, has 3 goals, 24 assists for 27 points on the year. So, gotta watch out for Dougie Hamilton. Even... Um, Svechnikov, because that guy can kill the Hawks when it comes to the play. He's turned into a Hawks killer. So the Hawks really need to watch out for those key three players in this series. Shut them down. And for the Hawks, their leading point getter, everyone knows it. It's number 88, Patrick Kane, with 36 games played, 13 goals, 35 assists for 48 points on the season. Kane has had a rough month this month, especially on that road trip the Hawks had this month when they went down to Florida, Dallas, and it just wasn't working for him. So Kane needs to find his game and get it behind the net because he, at this point in the season, he's usually already up more points than this. But for their second leading point getter, it's number 12, Alex Debrinket, with 32 games played, 18 goals, 17 assists for 35 points on the year. Debrinket's leading the way in goal scoring for your Chicago Blackhawks. He's having a 
great season when it comes to that, and he's proving he just had a rough season last year. The Hawks need to get Kane and Debrinkit, keep growing, stay them, keep them on the same line, and play them strong. It looks like Wyatt Kellynuck is going to be replacing Nick Bodan in tonight's action. Um, so there's going to be some lineup changes because of how bad they lost against Nashville. So the Hawks need to find their game and get it going. So down in the comments down below, I want to hear what your thoughts are going into the two-game matchup against the Carolina Hurricane. And thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, let's go Hawks!